We get hundreds of inquiries every year at Threadbo into what cloud seeding is and how it really works. So today we've come to the Snowy Hydro Centre in Cooma to hear all about it. Snowy Hydro are the leading provider of peak renewable electricity to the national electricity market. They take part in cloud seeding in order to produce more water for the 3800 megawatt Snowy Mountain Scheme, an integrated water and hydroelectric power project. Cloud seeding has a long history and has been around for almost 70 years. The first experiments began in the 1940s and there actually was a project run by CSIRO over the Snowy Mountain area back in the 50s. So what is cloud seeding? Well it's a form of weather modification to produce more rain or snow. Scientists monitor approaching weather systems to identify clouds that are suitable for seeding. Once the conditions look like they're, they're approaching, we start sending up weather balloons from Cancoban, which is on the western side of the mountains, and they give us some really good real-time information, um, so things like temperature and wind. These clouds contain large amounts of supercooled liquid water. They are naturally inefficient, but the excess water in these clouds can be made to fall as snow. A network of generator sites arranged along the western side of the mountain range burn minute amounts of silver iodide solution to create artificial ice forming particles which are swept up in the passing clouds. Invisible to the naked eye, each silver iodide crystal is so small that more than 300 million of them would fit on the head of a pin. When the supercooled liquid water droplets in the clouds come into contact with the tiny silver iodide crystals, they freeze, forming the very beginning of a snowflake. As the snowflakes continue to grow, they become too large to remain in the cloud and fall to the ground. The first phase of the project has been evaluated by a Professor Manton down at Monash University. Um, with a statistical evaluation, he's actually shown that we've had an average increase of 14% of snow over the snowy mountains. There are many benefits of the production of more snow due to cloud seeding. The major industry of the Snowy Mountains is tourism, with all of the New South Wales ski resorts now located within the project area. The local communities significantly benefit with the large influx of tourists to the area during the winter months. I think anything to increase the snowfalls is obviously positive, especially you know, there, there, there is a concern about climate change, so enhancing any, any of the natural snow qualities. And also, I mean, the New South Wales ski industry is worth about a billion dollars to the state's economy, particularly, uh, and most of that billion dollars is coming out of the local area. The benefits continue once the snow melts. The snow melt is captured by the dams of the Snowy Mountain Scheme and used to generate clean, renewable energy for eastern Australia. From there, the water is then released into the Murray and Murrumbidgee rivers for irrigation. And the good news is there is no evidence that cloud seeding operations have had any adverse environmental impacts over the first phase of the trial. To give you an example, um, we take drinking water measurements throughout the season and also following the end of the season, um, and those are reading you know, about 100,000 times less than the Australian drinking water guidelines. So this snowstorm is currently being seeded by 23 generators, the closest one being only 20 kilometres in that direction. So Australian snow resorts are really reaping the benefits of more snow thanks to the partnership between science and Mother Nature.